And did you ever find out about the damage that the raids were causing? Yes. Um, they would come back and say, oh, we, we hit that target well and truly, or they would come back and say, I think we were in the wrong place or something of that sort. But rarely did a crew tell us exactly what went on, what, what, what they told were told at the debriefing after each bombing raid I, in the mess, I, I, do, I do not know. Um, but they would say, no, we, 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 oh, I, think, I think we were on, in the wrong place today. Or no, we hit this one. Oh, we really hit this one. That, that sort of thing, uh, as far as I can remember. Um, if I think about it a bit more. No, I, uh, I, I can never say, oh, they sent us to the wrong target or anything of that sort. There was never anything of that sort. And uh, what, how did you feel when you heard about the uh, attack on the Ruhr dams? Well, I was involved in that, obviously. Uh, I thought it was the greatest thing that ever happened. Uh, uh, but it was a very, very, very costly exercise. Very costly exercise in, in the way of uh, numbers of aircraft and, and numbers of crew that were, that, that were killed. Uh, but it was a great puzzle to us because when the first aeroplanes arrived for the Dambuster raid, we didn't know what it was going to be. had the faintest idea, certainly didn't know what we were going to carry. But one day... Uh, when an aeroplane, when a Lancaster flew over, you knew the sound of it. And invariably you didn't look up. But if you heard a strange sound, you would look up to see what, what it is. And these, air, these Lancasters came over with a strange sound, a different sound to the one we were looking for. And when we looked up, we saw they had no bomb doors. And so we automatically said, oh, well, they've run out of bloody bomb doors. Uh, again, and they're sending them out without bomb doors, we'll, we'll have to fit them. Um, but it was intended that, that the, the bomb, the round bomb, was the base of where the bomb doors were. They couldn't close, the, it was so low they couldn't close the bomb doors. So they had to go without bomb doors, and this thing was streamlined to you know, comply with that. So that was the first thing we found out that the, the, the new bombs were going to be without bomb doors. Um, and, oh, we, we were extraordinarily proud of that. Extraordinarily proud of that. Um, but as I say, there, there was a massive, massive loss. So were you in 617 Squadron at the yeah. time of the raid? Yeah, uh, yeah. After those losses, did that affect morale? Sorry? Did, did those losses uh, affect morale? No, we, we, no, no, we, 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 we were all very sad, but uh, there's a difference between being sad and your morale being... Oh, no, at no time was our now morale affected by that, so far as I know. And uh, what do you... Uh, how did you feel when you heard about the raid on Hamburg in '43? Well, I don't know. We, we did dozens of raids on Hamburg. Which one are you speaking about? The one where there was the firestorm when we first used oh, the window. Yeah. Oh, well, first of all, you have to remember uh, that the Germans made the first big firestorm in 1940 when they set fire to the city of London. So, so, so it wasn't new. It had been done before. and. Um, uh, so, so far as anybody in the RAF is concerned, well, bloody good and bloody shame, you, you know. Uh, this war has got to be won. If that's the way we've got to do it, that's the way we do it. Um, I, I don't quite think you realise how strong were feelings of Britain that we retaliate for all that we had been through. 
for all, all that long winter, that long year, the Battle of Britain. You, 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 you know, you, you, we had it all boiled, boiled up within us. Uh, no, I don't know. No, no, no qualms, whatever. No, um, why should we? Why should we? But we, we didn't start it. Uh, we were trying to rid the world of a monster. Uh, no, I, don't, I don't, don't see this view at all. I don't see this view. I'm, so, I'm sorry, but uh, people may well think of it this, these days, but uh, conditions are rather different now to what they were. I mean, do, do you realise how close we were to being overrun? If, if um, Hitler had had two penneth of guts, he'd have walked straight into Britain and taken it over. We, we, we had no defence. Our army had lost its, all, all, all its equipment in, in, after Dunkirk. And, and if he'd have come straight across, he would have walked through Britain and you know, I mean, there's no knowing where, what would have been after that. Uh, I don't know who could do it. So you, you have to take all this into account when you think of uh, raids like Hamburg. No, we had no, no qualms about them at all. Did you hear about how uh, other campaigns of the war were going? Oh, yes. There, there was no such... There, there, there might have been a bit of cover-up here and there uh, on certain losses or where they were made not quite so bad as they were. But generally speaking, I am convinced that our press was as free as any press in the world. And newspapers didn't like to publish bad news, but, but, but we always got the bad news. Um, uh, no, I, 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 I don't think... I might have been deceived about... And, and we, we used to say each time how many aircraft were lost. On a raid in in the morning news, uh, the RAF last night raided uh, Hamburg um, with uh, a thousand airplanes um, of uh, Hamden's, uh, Halifax, uh, Manchester's, Lancaster's, Halifax's, Wellington's. A thousand, you know, rusted up a thousand all out there, and and they bombed Hamburg, and uh, six didn't return. You know, it, it, it was announced like that. Uh, uh, it was never the four hundred never returned. Uh, you know, there was never anything of that sort. There were there were small numbers, perhaps ten out of a thousand were or twenty, but there, there, there were numbers of that sort. But but when the, the, on the Dambuster raid we lost, um, oh, no, I think it was I think it was eight. Uh, and, um, yeah, that, 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 that was heavy loss, and that would have been announced. Um, I might have said that um, uh, three were shot down, the crew were bailed out, and they're prisoners, uh, and the four are missing, or, or something of that sort. Yeah. So I had no doubts whatever about the press uh, did, did announce uh, that, that we were, were informed. Yeah. And what are your thoughts on the bombing of Dresden? Bombing with, uh, my thoughts on the bombing of Dresden, I think, um, I, I have no qualms whatever. I uh, have heard the stories about what Dresden did and, and uh, that it was only for peaceful purposes, but we knew for a fact that uh, pieces of the machinery for the rockets that were being dropped on Britain were ma made, manufactured, Designed, designed, manufactured in that part of the world. Uh, so therefore, uh, Dresden meant nothing. Uh, I mean, every time somebody asks me, well, I don't know, well, tell me about the city of London that was destroyed in one bombing raid with, with fire or that, that burnt the whole lot out. And, and I saw the city after the bombing, so I know the whole, the whole bloody shoot went in one night. Did you ever actually uh, see any of the V2s when they attacked London? I, 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 I saw the V1s, the chug, chug, chug. You couldn't ever see the V2s. You, 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 the first thing you knew about the V2s was, was it landing. 
The V1s were, were these chug, chug, chug things. And, and you knew that whilst the engine was running, you were all right. But the moment the engine cut out, when it turned to drop, then start worrying because you're, you're, you're in line for it. I'd heard uh, lots of uh, V1s and also I'd heard recordings on, on the radio of, of them going over during the news. Um, but V2s you, you never saw, you, you only knew when they landed. I, I never heard one explode, but I, I'd seen where some would explode and they really knocked it to smithereens. I mean. Well, the V2s, sorry. Sorry? Uh, were the V2s quite a shock to everyone? Um, no, because I think we were warned that, that Germany had these things. We were warned beforehand that, the, that, that they would be coming at some time, and they did. Uh, but again, I don't think morale would, was affected by that. Um, I can't recall any one family that I met at any time during the war who had lost faith in, in what we were doing. I, I really can't. Um, because even those that, that supported the, the British Union of Fascists, the BUF, even those that rebelled, that they were still British to the core. They they never converted to, to 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 German. Uh, you, you know the British Union of Fascists. Uh, uh, they they didn't want to lose England. If if you can understand what, what I'm saying, no no. So uh, uh, there the, there was never anything of that to my to my knowledge, and I'd be very distressed to hear. Somebody say that there was. And uh, why do you think Bomber Command were treated the way they were after the war? I think Churchill made a, a, quite an error of judgment. Something must have happened at some time between Harris and Churchill, or Harris and some minister, which which turned Churchill, and I think Churchill regretted it for the rest of his days, although I don't think he ever said so publicly. He said one or two things, but he didn't say fully publicly that uh, he um, regretted saying it. Uh, but um, yeah, I, I was annoyed that uh, I Bomber Command was not recognised for what it did, and it did a hell of a lot for Britain during the time when the army was, years the army was inactive, you know, until uh, D-Day. Uh, I mean, we were the only uh, enemy that the, 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 the enemy knew about. Um, and I, I was very annoyed that Bomber Command was not recognised with a special uh, award uh, and that um, we who served in Bomber Command never had one single badge to show that we were Bomber Command. Uh, on the other hand, the Fighter Command never had one single badge to show it, 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 it won the Battle of Britain, but uh, those things should have been recognised. And personally, I... Uh, was distressed from day one that, uh, I mean, not over distressed, but you, you know, I was sorry that um, uh, the, the, the service that we gave w was not recognised in, in a better way than it was by just giving us the General Service Medal. Yeah.